Hi, I'm Michael Odie. I'm a SolarWinds contributor and president and CTO of Tekka Inc. And today we're going to talk about easy, efficient operations using maintenance plans. Uh, SQL Server maintenance plans have been around a while since um, SQL Server Devon, and they were really revamped with SQL Server 2005. They're still with us today, and they can really be a godsend for uh, the beginning DBA or the accidental DBA who just happens to wind up managing SQL Server. They can really help you do some of the common uh, and necessary operations tasks without having a great deal of expertise in T-SQL or scripting or other complicated things. You can use SQL Server maintenance plans to take care of routine tasks uh, like backup and other operations very quickly and easily. So they're, they're really a benefit and a boon to the beginning DBA. So what are we going to cover in this presentation? We're going to look at an overview of SQL Server maintenance plans. What kind of things do they do? What they're all about? And then we're going to dig in a little deeper and see how you can use the maintenance plan wizard to go ahead and create a SQL Server maintenance plan. How you can update SQL Server maintenance plans using the maintenance plan designer. And then finally, how you can track some of the run history that your maintenance plans have had. So SQL Server maintenance plans, they do they allow you to do almost all of the, the necessary regular operations. Uh, some of the things you can do with them, you can set up backups. They can be used for full database backups, differential backups, transaction log backups. But they can also be used for other database maintenance tasks, like doing database integrity checks, doing index rebuilds and reorganizations, updating your statistics, as well as uh, file cleanup tasks, for instance, deleting old backup files. Uh, SQL Server maintenance plans are pretty easy to create. Uh, there is a, there's a wizard that you can use that will step you through the process of selecting the tasks, ordering the tasks, and then configuring each of the different tasks that you're including in your, um, in your maintenance plans. Under the covers, SQL Server maintenance plans are actually SSIS, or SQL Server Integration Services, packages. And you schedule those packages to run on a regular basis uh, using SQL Server Agent. Uh, so that tells you that SQL Server Agent is a requirement for using uh, SQL Server maintenance plans and also that maintenance plans are only for the Enterprise, Business Intelligence, or Standard Editions. Since they require SQL Server Agent, uh, you can't use them with the SQL Server Express Edition. This screen gives you an idea of how you, how you can create maintenance plans. They're really pretty easy to create using the maintenance plan wizard. Um, you go into SQL Server Management Studio, you expand the management node, you expand the management plans node, and um, then you can right click that node and there will be an option in that context menu uh, to run the maintenance plan wizard. Uh, the maintenance plan wizard, as you can see in the screen, it allows you to select multiple tasks to include in your maintenance plan. You can have one maintenance plan that does a number of things or you can have a number of maintenance plans, each that do a, a more segregated uh, type of approach and a more isolated type of management. You can rearrange the order of those tasks and I'll show you that in just a second. You can set your schedule that your maintenance plan is going to run on and as you configure each task you're going to do things like select the databases for instance for a backup task or the indexes for the index reorg or rebuild kind of tasks. Once you've created a maintenance plan, you don't use the wizard again to update that. Instead, you use the maintenance plan designer. And you start it from SQL Server Management Studio um, again. You can also use the designer to create new maintenance plans if you want to. But uh, typically, it's easier to create a maintenance plan using the wizard and then update it with the designer. Uh, to run the designer, you basically go into Management Studio, expand that management node, expand your maintenance plan nodes. Then you select your maintenance plan and double click on it. And that that will open up the designer that you can see here on the lower right portion of this screen. Each of your tasks will be uh, represented in the designer in one of those um, rectangular boxes. And if you want to add a new task, there's a toolbar tab that you can see clear to the left side of the screen. Click that toolbar tab, it will open your toolbox. And uh, there, you, from the toolbox, you can drag and drop different tasks onto your designer screen um, if you want to. Each of the tasks are connected uh, with green arrows, which kind of show the precedent. And that controls the order of the tasks that are uh, be going to be executed. And you can change that precedent while you're in there. If you want to change the schedule that you're running on, you might notice near the top of the screen, the top center, there's a calendar icon that you can see in there. And you can go click this calendar icon. and. 
that will go ahead and allow you to set the schedule and change the schedule that you want to run these tasks on. Once you had created a task or updated it, you might want to wonder, how is this task doing? And you can view your maintenance plan run history by, again, going to SQL Server Management Studio, expanding your management maintenance plans um, node, then right-click the maintenance plan that you're interested on and select View History, and it will open the log viewer that you can see here. The log viewer lists the different plans that we're running, and there'll be a red X if the plan had had some sort of error or failure while it was running, and green check marks show each of the different successes that are there. Um, by expanding each of the different plans, you can show all the tasks that are underneath. And here you can see that there's been a couple errors in the maintenance plan tasks here that were run. That's shown by the red X, and the green check mark shows the different parts of the maintenance plans that have succeeded. Okay, well that's been a quick overview. Let's see some of this in action. To create a maintenance plan, first let's go ahead and open up Management Studio. And here you can see our Management Studio is opening up. Now let's expand that Management node. And there it comes. Let's make our window a little bigger. And there's Maintenance Plans. So we'll go ahead and expand that. Now to create a new maintenance plan using the wizard, we would simply right click that, say Maintenance Plan Wizard, and this is going to fire up the maintenance plan wizard for us. The wizard will step us through things, so let's create a simple maintenance plan and we will create a new one called maintenance plan new backup I guess today and we'll click next and in this one we'll just say we're going to execute a database backup and maybe we'll do some file cleanups too to go along with it we'll say next and now here we could reorder these but in this case we're going to keep the order just like it is backup first and the cleanup afterwards now it's going to ask us what type of backup are we going to use so it's going to be full and let's for the sake of things we'll just say all user databases and we'll say that's good and next we'll select our destination we would normally probably put them somewhere else but for the sake of the demo I will just keep the file extension and the destination the same and you can see options uh, backup compression here let's say let's compress the backups and that pretty much has set our maintenance plan wizard so let's say next now it's going to ask us to configure the maintenance plan cleanup task in this case let's say we're going to delete all the BAK files that are older than seven days. So let's say seven days. So we'll keep our works weeks worth of them out there. And we'll say next. Uh, the output of the maintenance plan, where is it going to go to? It's going to go by default to the SQL Server logs directory. We could also have it email if we had set up SQL mail. And we'll go ahead and say finish. And at this point, it's going ahead and creating our maintenance plan for us. So you can see the wizard is going ahead and running. And our new maintenance plan is now shown in the SQL Server Management window. If we wanted to update that plan, let's say we double click on it. And we'll open up the plan using the, the maintenance plan designer. And here you can see the, the maintenance plan has come up. There's our two different tasks in the maintenance plan. If we wanted to reconfigure one of them, we could double click on it and it would give us that same configuration screen. If we want to change the schedule of it, we could go ahead and hit the schedule and you can see we set it up to occur uh, weekly. Let's say in this case we'll set it up maybe daily and it's going to occur every day and we'll say at 12 a.m. So there we've gone ahead and I created a maintenance plan, updated the maintenance plan, and updated that maintenance plan schedule. If we wanted to see the history of a couple maintenance plans that are running out here, we'd right-click the maintenance plan and say View History, as you can see here. And here is our maintenance plan history, showing this maintenance plan has run a couple times. There's been a couple of errors. It was a backup, much like we just set up. Uh, the backup itself succeeded but the maintenance plan cleanup didn't succeed because there weren't any old files out there. But anyway, you can see it's very easy to see uh, the maintenance plan run history using the log viewer. And there's an overview of maintenance plans. Well, that's the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching.